this is home. How does water supply your taps, gas supply your oven, electricity power your phone? If you don't know, follow along and see how I do it by building my own house inside this van. So, I've pretty much damaged this quite a lot now. So, the next thing I've decided to do is do the fake floor that goes over the shower to make it a hidden shower. So, I'm going to have these pieces here to slightly raise this off the ground. This is going to go over like this. And then I'm going to have pieces of the same length running all the way down here. So I've sanded down everything. This grain has come up really nicely on the edge pieces for the basin. Then over there, that's the bits that are going on top of the plywood. So I'm now gonna put on this wood stain, which is walnut, so it'll be nice and dark. Which is the sort of um, color I'm wanting to go for. So I've got these thin strips of plywood from some leftover plywood. Basically, I've got to stick this on this edge here to raise it up to the level of the ceramic tray. So then I can put the, um, the wooden frame around it so it's all level. them in. It's quite hard on thin plywood because it just wants to bounce back at you. So there's somewhere I've actually gone wrong and I'm gonna have to plug the holes in the plastic because the point of the plastic and the roofing is to make it watertight or moisture tight proof so that it doesn't get through to the ceiling and all the moisture goes through the extractor pan. But it doesn't matter about these walls getting wet, which is perfect. head in and we've got the mixer tap so I wanted to make that a little bit different so I counter sunk it in the, the wooden frame pretty simple to make that to be honest and then the pipes will come up around the back over the top so when we want to have a shower go cold or hot and we just put it down how much we want to come out and then it will just Straight away, drop down from there. Nice.
head over to Van Life UK on Instagram to see more pictures of the build.